So this right here is the number one most venomous snake that we can find in the entire continent of Africa. One drop of venom from this snake here kills 25 fully grown humans. If you get a bite from this snake, without medical attention, you're gonna die. It's aiming for it. Look. Oh. I'm gonna... Oh, 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 oh. like a snake right here, you see? You see that? Yeah. Shall we go in from this side? Yeah, yeah, this side. You think it's better? Mm -hmm. Keep an eye on it, right? Okay. Keep an eye on it from the side here. So you got like a snake on the island. I'm not quite sure which snake it is. I think it's a bomb star. You see? Just right up there balancing on the branches. It's a good height, so we don't not try to scare it away. Let's go get him. It's a bomb slung. Now it's on to me, it's a wild one now. This right here, if you're standing in this mud, let's go over this side here. Let's go over this side. Ta-da. Now this right here is a bomb slung. It's the number one most venomous snake in Africa. Awesome. So this right here is the number one most venomous snake that we can find in the entire continent of Africa. This drop for drop is one of the most venomous snakes in the entire world. So one drop of venom from a black mamba, I say, can kill between two and four fully grown humans. The bomb slung. One drop of venom from this snake here kills 25 fully grown humans. If you get a bite from this snake and it envenomates, there's a 100% death rate, always. Without medical attention, you're gonna die. 4%, four percent, four, percent of a single drop that you can't see under the microphone is enough to kill one fully grown adult human. So this right here is a beautiful green one and it's very active you can see so it's getting sunset here. It's sunset right now so it's probably looking for some frogs to eat out here and they also feed on other reptiles and their favorite food are actually chameleons. Now you can come a little bit closer to see the color it's a beautiful color. See that? It's a bright green color. So this tells me that this right here is actually a male bomb slung. For the females, they are either black, gray or brown, while the males have this beautiful, stunning um, green color, but sometimes they're also yellow or even blue in color. So they're not bright blue, like a, some of the pit vipers, but they're actually um, a little bit more blue on the uh, belly there. But that one is a beautiful green one, absolutely beautiful color. In fact, the name Bomsang translates to tree snake. And that is where you can find the snake here in 99% of, of the cases and in 99% of the time. So unlike the green mamba, which has a similar color, the Bomsang has really big eyes and a small round head. And that is how you tell them apart from other snakes. So you don't look at their skin color. There are many green snakes out here, but you don't look at their color. In fact, you look at their head shape, just like with us. When you look in our passport, right, there's not our skin color. <laughs> in fact, there's our head and our face because that is distinct. So with the snakes, you also look at the head. And this one here has like a wild looking head, super big eyes. And in fact, they can see better than us. So it's believed that they can see chameleons from 30, sometimes even 40 meters away and then they slither to the branches with lightning speed and venomate and kill. So with us, it's sometimes hard to spot a chameleon when it's just right in front of us. So these guys see they see it from 30, 40 meters away, not moving, but they just use their eyesight to make out the shape of the chameleon. And then they run there, boom, to the branches, hit, envenomate. And when they want to envenomate, they have to chew because, not because they have back fangs necessarily, because some people think they have back fangs. So the fangs are just right underneath the eye. So they think they actually have to chew because they can't open their mouth. They can actually open their mouth 170 degrees 
and they could actually bite me and venomate me on my forehead if they want to. Why they have to chew is because their fangs are actually grooved, not hollow. So they groove fangs, so they have to chew because of that reason. And that is how venom will be injected into your body. And the venom of the snake here is a wild one. It's called a hemo, toxic venom. Oh, this is a warning. Look at this there. That's a beautiful warning, inflating the throat. So like the cobras, they spread a hood. The bumstang is inflating its throat to make sure that we get intimidated. Oh, I see you're a big boy. I see you're a big boy. So the venom is hemotoxic, which is blood affecting. If it bites you, you start to bleed out of your eyes, out of your nose, out of your ears, out of your mouth. The way you die is because of internal bleeding. As you see, it's absolutely uninclined to bite. So I caught it out of the tree. Now I got it here in my hand on this hook stick and it's still completely calm, right? So the bomb stung, if you want to get bitten by it, you have to find one of these trees here, jump to the river just like I did to catch a bomb stung on an island and then you have to squeeze it and shake it around for it to even give you like your first warning, like the inflating of the throat that we just saw. And from there, you might as well just end up taking a bite maybe, but you see what an effort it is, right? Finding a bomb stung, squeezing, shaking it around, hurting it, and then they just give you warning signs. If you ignore them, they're gonna bite you. And the venom, lucky for us, takes between two and sometimes up to seven days to have a uh, effect on us because it's a very slow acting venom on humans. But oftentimes people still fear the black mamba, think it's the most dangerous, most venomous snake. But no one ever talks about a bomb song because it's boring to make stories about a snake that doesn't kill people, right? And even though people try to fear you with numbers, like one drop of venom kills 25 people, this snake right here is nothing you need to be afraid of, right? They stay in trees away from us. And in fact, look at this now. I tried to put it into this little tree here and look how it just out of instinct wants to go into these branches. Look, it's aiming for it. Look, oh, I'm gonna, oh, 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 oh. there you go. Now look at the instinct, straight for that tree. And now it goes through there with no effort at all. Absolutely no effort, just slithering through here. No problem for a bomb song at all. I'll try to get it out of here so it doesn't get too, doesn't get away from me too quick because we're gonna have like one more look at it, especially at the tail. So they use their tail, like most arboreal snake species, you see that, to wrap around. Look, it's very strong. If I shake the snake, it's not getting away from me there. So they use it just like a black mama to wrap around your wrist. Not because it wants to come to me to bite, but in fact to hold on because it doesn't want to fall, right? So I now, before I release it, I will actually give this bomb song another chance to bite me. But at the same time, I will actually show it the tree behind me. And then you can see how it's just trying to get away from me rather than towards me. Check this out. Now I let it loose. You see that? I'm not holding it. And out of instinct, oh, it reaches for this big branch. And look how it's just balancing on it. It's not falling. Notice how it's not falling. Awesome. Now it's just holding on to here. You see that? Quick. Oh, the boomy. The legendary bomb slung, a snake you need to be afraid of. People try to scare you with numbers, they throw them around like nobody else's business. But you don't have to be afraid of them, right? Awesome.